Right, just to highlight at this stage, um, I don't really know what I'm doing. It's the first bit of wrapping I've ever done, and it's a pretty important bit. Now, I've watched loads of guides, read loads of guides, and basically, I shouldn't be doing it, and I should be getting professional. Oh well. Um, so, yeah, I've just watched the stuff, I'm going to try and give it a go. You should really have two people, especially with a size like this. Like, I've seen a few chaps do it with, uh, by themselves, and they kind of just start from the middle of what's the left or the right, and then do the other half and then work out. Obviously initially it's useful to have two people to hold the, the wrap there and the wrap there and stretch it out. Um, obviously usually it's to sort of a polished, nice clean surface. They even clay bar them first, etc. to get them absolutely clean. This is quite porous, this surface, so I'm going to be using, I'm um, obviously buy proper stuff, but um, old mates used to do this on rally cars and stuff, just use a bit of squirty washing up furry liquid water and that just gives you a little bit of surface to play with so you can peel it off and put it back on again if you're getting wrinkles etc. So that's what I'm going to use. Um, so let's make a cup of tea. Of course it decided to chuck it down while I'm inside which is good but bad. Well, that rain's torrential. What happened to my summer? Oh well. Looks like the engine bay's getting cleaned. Anyway, moving on. Can't put this off any longer. You're all going to hate this. Sorry everybody to do this to you. But the wrap we're using is the 4D 3M vinyl wrap that looks like carbon fibre. It's a carbon fibre wannabe bonnet at the end of the day. It's fiberglass because I couldn't afford the carbon fibre but we'll make it look like it. To be honest I seemed a bit silly just to use matte black or trying to colour match it and it look awful. None of the sort of bright colours seem to work moonstone. We're gonna go for this. It's got the layer channels in it so it shouldn't be too difficult like other vinyls to apply. It's got a five year outdoor warranty, but they didn't plan on a Muppet trying to fit it. Right, let's switch to time lapse so you can watch all my mistakes really, really quick. Everybody wish them well. As for what would happen next, only the apartheid state could tell. There we go. It's all on. Uh, minus some dirty finger marks. I've just been checking some bubbles this morning. There is a few little air bubbles that have come up. I think this is as the sun's hitting it. Um, those experts out there will be able to tell me what I did wrong on here. Because this was fine last night, but as the sun's got to it, it has come off, basically. Um, I wonder if that's to do with not being able to go over the edge. Which is a shame, because there's only two little bits I had left. And that one's fine. It's quite neat. Um, maybe I'll have to do another time with some more. If I ever do any more. So I don't get bored of this. It all peels off in about 20 minutes when the sun gets right round. Um, so we shall see. Obviously it's very hot today and that's enough for all this to peel back basically. So we're just going to put um, drop the boost pipe down a little bit, fit the bonnet pins, fit the washer jets and then glue in the knacker duct. We also need to fit the badge. This is just sat in here at the moment as you can see. So we've got to put some something to bolt that on to. So that's the bonnet done! Well hey! Uh, badge is on. Um, still left over looking from French car show but I quite like it. Um, I'm in another indecision now whether to run some stripes up on the right hand side. I don't know whether that makes it start making it look a bit messy. Um, they probably won't be staying moonstone. We tried to wrap them but the wrap was just coming off. Same with the wing mirrors. The one came off, the one's fine. I do like them though so I'll probably get a little bit more to do that one and probably just paint those in good time. I just want to buzz out now and test everything because I haven't actually driven it since I've changed the coolant system, changed the drive shaft, put new gear oil in, fixed the exhaust leak, done the grill, changed the bumper, or take the bumper on and off, changed the bonnet. There's a lot of things I've changed and I've not tested. Oh, new boost pipes. Um, so these are lockable, which is kind of cool. Um, they're a little bit stiff at the moment, but you know that's the way it's going to have to be, I expect. It's just the way it, I bodged it. Um, our duct is nice and sealed in now, good old tiger seal, and then we've got two little brackets made up here of Lexan. Um, it's not perfect, a little bit of play in it, um, but it'll do for now. Um, I am missing one of these ruddy clips which is really annoying, I don't know where they've gone. Um, but there we go, it's done otherwise. There's our two bonnet pins and our grill and we'll go and test drive it now. If I can find the clamp for the GoPro. Uh, or the no pro as I call it, then I will take you out as well. Otherwise, I'll see you all at some point. I probably will see most of you at Pugfest, because if you like pugs, then you'll be at Pugfest on Sunday. 
Otherwise, I will see you at another time. If I don't see you at all, then there should be more updates now because the BT engineer has just left and we have internet again. Woohoo! Come on! So, um, there we go. Next job is... I've got some Lexan still kicking round. So I'm going to make some sliders. See, I've started... Let me just see if they started marking out kind of how I'm going to make them. Um, so my bolts will arrive for that. And then we can take out the window mechanisms and go and weigh it, hopefully, um, today. Um, and hopefully it should be a bit lighter because we weighed it at 1,040 kilos without the Lexan, without the fiberglass. So that should make a good difference. However, we have added quite a heavy radiator. So we'll go and see. Hopefully we're at the 1,000 mark. So thanks for watching this. Uh, this was the bonnet update and the cooling and the boost pipes. If they're not in a different video, I don't know yet. I haven't edited them. Um, right, we're going to go and test it all. Find that we've got lots of leaks, fix them all, and be ready for Prescott Hill.